before I they like women, eh? Oh, I mean, to me. I they like nyash, correct nyash, factory fitted nyash, be everything. Let me make I go marry that uh, model. Eh? Now my prick not the rise. But I was scamming banks and, you know, even before when I begin here for one nine, I don't do small. You used to scam banks? Yeah. And yeah. they paid? Of course. How? No Nigerian artist <laughs> should sit in the first class. Can you imagine? <laughs> in, in your own country too. He <laughs> said no Nigerian artist. So then send 50 cents. They say make you go back. You know, uh, you know Idris. Idris now. You know, one screw didn't lose for your head. It was saying no to go. So now so 50 cents in bodyguards, gone discipline, passion face. So as soon as I landed, after Idris don't tell me in story, I say where 50 cents there. Then then point to one jeep. Say na there the na there in there. So I go inside. Already, all the men, they don't they see some kind of movement. Mm -hmm. Movement everywhere. Okada people, everybody just oh, <laughs> their eye they red. And my own eye, and I read parcel. Because I don't joke do. I love gay people. The first woman I see I carry, very, very, very beautiful. This beautiful woman come to tell me, say, okay, you go carry me, go see my shrink. Let's go see her own shrink, you know. Mm -hmm. So it's a making change. Go enter bathroom. The person where I see where come out again, not be the person where enter the bathroom. It will. Because now full blown man I ain't come out. Yeah. Welcome to the Honest Bunch Podcast. Happy New Year! My prayer is that God Almighty will order our steps and direct our path to greatness in 2024 and beyond. Let me thank everyone. We appreciate you now. Hey, the love will now show us pass. The love will they show the most beautiful girl for village. The bell for village. People just, they message me. Where are you people now? Where are you guys? Sometimes if I didn't hold my phone like this, I can't see. Where are you guys? We miss you. I can't do it like this. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> you people were bringing the soft side of me out. Thank you so much. We're really very grateful for your support over the years and how you keep pushing us, telling us, give us more. You're making an impact in the society. We appreciate you. Now, because of Unanine, we curate all this great content. Thank you so much. Now, this season, we get new people where we say, then come, tell or say, Una, they do well. We go support Una so that the message go there louder and everybody go here. A free prize. You would see more about a free prize. We will discuss more about a free prize. And we're definitely going to learn more about all Ad the great opportunities that they have Adult on Nation. offer. Adult Nation. Adult Nation. Making an impact in the entertainment space. Una go hear more too about Adult Nation. Now, you get one when I go talk. That one be like secret. But... Make I do the introduction first so that everybody go there at home. Then we'll delve straight into that conversation. Ladies and gentlemen, by my immediate right is the women leader. This year, she know the grief for anybody. Beautiful, delectable, drop dead gorgeous. Gee. Very, very natural Gee. and well grounded. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, as in the Ugoji, as in the mama. It's so cool. I'm seven legs. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a clam? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now play with it. Nice play. one. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, for one beautiful Nigerian and African woman, you have another beautiful body. <laughs> All round, pressed down, shaking together and running over. She's very expressive. She go talk her mind. Period. Now, people will talk about age gap and say, these people serve them too, they talk. But they go talk because now they're plenty past for our society and she's representing these people well. Ladies and gentlemen, the lady who everybody agrees with, once she opens her mouth and says, <laughs> yes, stop. <laughs> they I know y'all have missed me. You missed this voice. I'm back, back and better. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our eldest brother, the Diokpa, mm -hmm. 
a man of enchanting physiognomy, many, many degrees, degrees and, and characters. characters. Mm-hmm. <laughs> a man that is very vast and greatly experienced. He has seen life. He's been there and done that. So many years of experience as a first film par excellence no, and a broadcast journalist. No, Ladies and gentlemen, the salt. Hmm. One the and life. only. Hmm. Can you ask <laughs> They always off me. Yes. <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome to 2024. Welcome to the new season of the Hottest Bunch. This year, we are not grief for anybody. Z. At all. You will collect. At all. You gonna learn. At you all. gonna learn. <laughs> and yours truly, my name is Ezugu Chukudi. Six, Six for chocolate, oh. uh, chocolate oh, the best MC in the MC. Nobody oh. goes. <laughs> Stop this thing now. You are just, it's not about me. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, our guest. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna clear my truth. <clears throat> Our guest, eh, the best, the best way we go take qualify this. In fact, the choices of adjectives will fail to qualify our guest. You know, after reading a lot, after reading voraciously about him, I have christened him the John the Baptist. Mm. And you know what is funny? Sometimes you look around you and then you begin to bask in everything that is happening. But so many people don't do those, those things when they rain now, when everybody they talk about. So many people don't do them. Now, Today we have the Alter Gang. Hmm. <laughs> but before the Alter Gang, he was. Mm-hmm. We have Gen Z, very expressive. They know they fear, they go talk their mind. Before the Gen Z, he was the ancestor of the Gen Z. Mm-hmm. Now he be the Gen Z before even Gen Z exists, <laughs> before they were formed. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this man is indeed a man of, I cannot even describe him as a man of many parts. I will call him a tree with so many branches. Mm. He's a singer, mm. a songwriter. He's a television presenter. Mm. He's an advocate for social justice. He's he, he don't he don't look military people like this. They say no, now no go do anything. This thing won't be saying that the truth. Now what he will go stand for. And over the years, he's been really very consistent with his values and all that he represents. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, the man, the myth, the legend, mm. Charles Chukwemeka Oputa, aka Area Father. His royal punkness, Charlie Boy! <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask one question. Over the years, I don't need to think, and thank God, say, you did here. I won't ask this question. That uh, expressway, that Bagada and Tony, he get one bus stop with and they call Charlie, Charlie Boy, Boy bus stop. <laughs> now, after you, they name that, that place Charlie Obviously. Boy. It'd be like... It be like <laughs> because I remember I say when we small when we go they go excursion that year if we don't stay inside the bus if we pass that place they will just point they get one big bike when they outside that time then go they point that's that map that we always see on TV <laughs> I go go shy. <laughs> wow wow nice one mm. okay no wala you good say you don't and confirm this one yeah. mm. I cannot count how many times I've seen Charlie Boy riding when they drive I go, I cannot the, the first time I see I go lucky where I stop. That you remember? For lucky face one. I was, and the funny part is you can't put earplugs. You go to dance. He go to, mm-hmm. I'm like, what the? You know, I, name one person where they do it. In no, you know, easy. Given the age, the, born in 1950, 74 this year. Regardless of the age, mm-hmm. nobody mm-hmm. in the Koyi go see him. Via you go see him. Lucky Koyi Link Bridge. Koyi Link Bridge. Mm-hmm. And he's always having fun. He's like living in his own universe. Mm-hmm. Very true. Talking about people living in their own universe. <laughs> Let me just share this information. Now, good news. So, you go good make a share. Mm. Walkman HQ. Walkman without the O. If you go check him on social media, Walkman HQ. See, in minutes, eh, you will be linked to artisans, when Sabi their work, skilled workers, mm. people who, you know this work what they do for house now? Like yeah. carpenter, sharp, mm. sharp, sharp, plumber, plumber. Yeah. cleaner. Sharp, yeah. sharp, sharp, sharp. All these ones, when we say, you know, say some of those people, they, they get the God when they serve. If you see good one, hold them tight. Yes, if you yes. see bad one, he go show you pepper. He mm. go repair your fridge. Your microwave go begin get problem. <laughs> they, go, they, go, they don't repair ceiling. Pumping machine begin to get issue. I don't know whether they do the thing deliberately so that you go feel call them again. again. But Walkman HQ, don't make that one day very, very easy. Mm-hmm. You know, go get any problem whatsoever. You would reach out to skilled artisans that are very, very professional. In minutes, just make that call and you'll get that information. Oh, I say, make yeah. I share this one to Namun. I know be like, I'll say, I'll be a wicked person. Do they Definitely. have um, beauty people, people that do nails and artisans? Stuff like that? Anything, uh-huh. anything. Okay. When you get, they will work on you. Oh, okay. uh-uh. yes. Massage, what? <laughs> they will work on you. <laughs> <laughs> they will work on you. <laughs> that oh, one, yeah. they can't do. 
Baba, why in the heart? Oh yeah, no wala. Okay, so let's let's delve straight into the um, conversation. So today we're going to be discussing extensively with Charlie Boy. We don't mention that maybe some people know here. He was born in 1950. If you do your plus or minus, he'll be 74. Who tell you? Mm-hmm. Who tell you? Now the information when they be, you do better there. Where, where, where are you there? Mm-hmm. He there everywhere. Oh. Where be everywhere? He, he, Online. Information about yeah. you there everywhere. People go read and plenty now. But as you there here now, you go tell us the okay. real one. Make you no know, be said and put the wrong one. Okay, so let's start. Let's start with, sir. How old, daddy? How, how old, old are, are you? you? My mama don't die. <laughs> <laughs> She's okay. Crazy. Okay, so I didn't see that coming. So good one, good one, very good answer. Mm-hmm. But we will do plus or minus, and let's go back to the very beginning. Now, for people who do not know, uh, because if like in our generation, that thing really happen, and many people not really care about this information. Um, Charlie Boy, Charles Oputa is the second um, son of the legendary um, jo- the late Justice Chukudifu Oputa. Okay. I don't know whether I go down here one time when they mention Oputa panel. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Now, now from family when we say then read book where where then get level for Nigerian society and indeed the world. Well respected. Now family when believe say a good name. You understand? You go work for them mm-hmm. and you go achieve a lot more. But make I ask because people don't look Charlie Boy. They don't look the papa. They don't look the mama. They can't look, say, ah, papa go school where, where mama go school. You say, go school, oh. Where blessed say the school where you go now, school of hard knocks. <laughs> school to become your own, your own man to express yourself and you did different. I don't know. I, I hear I'm somewhere, but I won't confirm. Did you plan to go or were you supposed to go to the seminary to become a priest? Mm, because... Uh... My papa, when I did small, it damaged me with religion mm. and religiosity. Mm. Because I remember, like, I think I was about uh, 13, 14. I'm not good with figures. I began serve mass for church. Okay. Because for our house that time, every time now, you know, Bible studies on the weekend and things like that. Mm. So... Uh, it been the hunger all of us to be mass servants at that time. So after six years of that, then it was hip at the time to be a reverend father. So me, I think, say to, I can be a reverend father. And so I walk out, enter seminary for my class one before the war broke out. So yeah, I was actually going to become a priest. But as you say, those kind of things, you know, fit me. <clears throat> so that, you, you talk something when, till today, for the world, a very, very important issue. Make I not talk serious. You spoke about religion and the impact that it had on you as a person. Mm-hmm. And you said that, you know, maybe the parents wanted you to follow a certain pattern. And then you got to a point where you can't look, say, this thing, you know, follow. I know you say you're not good with figures, but it, it, it will be very important to know when exactly was this change? When you can't decide, say, ah, people like say this thing when they rain, when everybody won't do. Huh. Not before me, oh. what's in influence, Sam? See, I, I don't know how it came about, but me, I know, say, ever since them born me, you know, my own not to cause disruption. Mm. Oh, know? wow. Uh, even until I disowned my parents, you know. Uh-uh. Now really? to constantly, you know, fit tell me, say, make I no go here. I go, go on. And when everybody, they go here, now they are, they go. Hmm. You know, I know they like to, they do with every other every person, person they, do. they do. You know, I, I, I know been get reason. So no ask me. I don't know why, but that was the way I was carved. And, uh, you know, for every young person, we get famous father hmm. or... Yeah, we get popular father. There is always a fight between children and their parents, you know, who better pass. Yes. Okay. Your parents will always be wanting you to go this side. You want to go that side. Mm. And there's so many people who I know, yeah, where because of the influence their parents had on them, mm. they walk out, enter where they're not supposed to walk out. Mm. Mm. Where nobody be their own destiny. Mm. Mm. And they miss road, mm-hmm. you know. So um, at the end, I say, don't let anybody kill your dream. Whether not your papa or your uncle, or, mm. 
your friend or, you know, if you get a particular dream, just keep chasing it. Forget about waiting people go talk. Sometimes they will even call you a banjee. It's okay. No problem. As long as you're focused on that place where you go. As long as you no look left, you maintain your own lane, you probably get there. Mm. You, you get one thing when you talk, when strong, way way. The one way we know from growing up and maybe seeing things now, say parents, they disown their own picking. But yes. you say you disown your own parents. Mm, because my father used to be very cantankerous, old, foolish. So I thought at the time. Mm. Mm. Yeah. And... Uh, and you can't behave me for shoulder, like say, uh-uh. so I know if you get my own name. So without this man, I'm not, I don't like that kind of setup, you know. So, and because the man know they agree me, you know, nothing That's I did at the so. time, yeah. Nothing I did at the time was, was, I know fit in pressure. Mm. So for me, it was uh, a big challenge. So before they disowned me, I said, make I disown them. You know, at a particular point, I wanted to change my last name. Wow. Because it was like, how can I always be known as Mr. So 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 Person Pekin? I need to get my own, mm. you know. And that was how I arrived. Immediately I came back from America. That was late 70s. After my youth call, my parents were living in a worry, you know. So when they come make my papa a Supreme Court judge now, me, I walk out, go inside village because uh, <clears throat> that was the only place I could find free accommodation, okay? Uh, so I settled with my wife for village. After two years, uh, uh, when hunger faced me, mm. And I come face hunger. And another thing, for that village, I sell pepper soup. Mm. Uh, I had something that looked like a recording studio, you know, where people, they come, they do demo, they drop me some money, you know. Uh, after a while, it was so bad, I couldn't put food on the table. So my wife, we you know Diane, Mm. At least I make you go to her parents' place. To no, to her back to her country now, uh, America. Mm. At least when you they walk small, make it they send small cash mm. to me. You know, I know see Kobo, <laughs> but oh, <wow. laughs> a travel come out and she was away for about three or four years. So and we just had a, a baby boy, yeah. So she left the baby. You know, when with you, yeah, with me, it was about five, five months old. Wow. So, money no day for all those uh, house helps and things mm-hmm. like that. The only stuff where I get now, the one where they help me sell my pepper soup, where they record people when they can't do demo and all that, you know, till, till one day. I just ventured to come to Lagos and I came on attachment. Mm, boss. Yes. Yeah, with my baby. I was carrying my baby. Oh, wow. <laughs> Who I for live on for now. Wow. So that time I think I, I did that uh, song, What I Miss. Yeah. What I Miss, yes. So I don't walk out, I go polygram, I go different places, sunny music. And I saw that they drive me, come out, you know, Sabi Sink. This guy, them first, then go come, they look me like that. You be man or woman? And I'm like, but this is not show business. Why didn't they ask me all this kind of thing? Till I can't go Tabansi. Then drive me for Tabansi too. Mm. So as I come out outside, my change don't finish. Oh. So I they calculate as I do, I will take go back to my village. Now I see one woman where they stand. Very beautiful. I wanted to talk to her, but fear no grimy. <laughs> because spending those years in the village damaged my mm. my confidence, my self-esteem. I was <laughs> I was finished. So as God will have it now, 
Now the woman can't chase me, mm. toast me. Wow. I don't even think I'm a four. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So, I said so we take go back to her house. And uh, that night we talked to till morning. Nothing happened. We just talked. I've been one asking, I only talk. No, <laughs> yeah, only talk. Okay. You know, and we bonded so much. Long story short, now that woman, now he carry me come out that village. Wow. Yeah. And you don't know the woman name, until that encounter. Yes. And her name na Tina Onwudiwe, mm. African Oyibo. Tina Onwudiwe, Tina Onwudiwe. Yes. Wow. Asiko Lola, ye. Mm-hmm. 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 Wow. Na she. Wow. You see this life. So, no vex, so. You get one thing when you talk about. Wow. The place is where you they go. Say, if you enter here, they go push you. If you enter here, they go push you. You can't look at now showbiz. Now, the, the, in this day and age, people go talk about showbiz. They go talk, say, he's supposed to get razzmatazz when come with time. Mm. But this thing, when you... You know, when I come, eh, the people for showbiz, then they do like, say, then they work for bank. At that time? At that time. Mm. Even the people where they work for where showbiz, they happen. Their mentality na Mungo Park. Hmm. You know? So no wonder. Yeah, first of all, they ask me, are you a man or a woman? I, I you not gonna say I'll be a man now. Which kind of question with that? But yeah, they thought I was uh, too weird looking to that time now, nah, no blame them. Nah. They wear makeup, they wear they do a lot of things. I came before boy Giorgio. But wow, the famous boy George. Yes, but See people th- thought I was copying boy George. See and I hated that because I don't de- do my own Chris before boy George. Yeah. Wow. So, ah, ah, if, if after you watch this episode, quickly Google boy George. Make you see waiting, make so that you go fit get the illustration. Say wow! So before this person when they famous, where now when everybody does the shout boy George, boy George, boy George. Now he be like say now he mentor, <laughs> now Nigeria now he be a mentor. But I won't ask this makeup and dressing, and I know say now for village. Mm-hmm. They no call village meeting. He go no call. He go in council. People know God because say, obviously oh, yeah. you could do them while in the village there, while recording, why because what make me believe so you could do them for there? Because as you come Lagos, you don't already record song. You understand? So which means that life you could see they're not called village meeting. Mm-mm. I remember when I did states, you know, I used to like gay bars. I love gay people. I know be gay, but I like us, you know, as in they just they take the you know, my best friend was a, was gay. You understand? So, and I found that they're the most warmest, simple, straightforward, at least the ones who I don't meet. Mm-hmm. You understand? Uh, so I've always, uh, there was an incident that happened in the States, you know, when I was getting through my fourth marriage or my third marriage, I forget, you know. So one time my wife gone run away. Mm-hmm. So I was so effing lonely. So I say, okay, I could go to town. The first woman who I see, I go carry. Okay. The first woman who I see, I carry. Very, very, very beautiful. So we come house, okay? Make we do the work at hand. But we ended up talking Till the morning, once again. And then, um, when he called, because I've been the complaint to Ram, yeah. I was going through my depression at the time, so I've been the complaint to this woman, say, see, see what thing that happened to me. It'd be like, say, I don't want to stay this America because... I was a victim of racism and I know like I'm because we did see Oyubo people for our house those days. So I go come somewhere, Oyubo go they try to they make me feel inferior, shake a banza. What for? So because of that, I hated America because of the racism. Mm. So Naim, this beautiful woman come to tell me, say, okay, you go carry me, go see my shrink. Go see her own shrink, you know. Mm-hmm. So he said, making change. 
can't enter bathroom. The person where I see where come out again, not be the person where enter the bathroom. It will. Because I really full blown man, I ain't come out. So when, <laughs> <laughs> when I come see the change, yo, I was excited. I was like, you know, how did how did that happen? You know, because I could have sworn that that person was a woman. A woman. Was a lady. So I started, I said, oh, this is good. And if you remember, for people that used to watch uh, the Charlie Boy show back in the days, you know, I used to do this segment called me Ziggy Ziggy. Ziggy, Ziggy. Yeah, where I would dress up like a woman and, you know. So I enjoyed oh, for, it. For, 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 from that means Ziggy Ziggy, because as you, as, 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 you, as you mentioned now, say the person enters as a woman, come out as a man, it, the, the, the picture, and you can't mention America, I swear down, the picture will enter my head now, RuPaul. Yeah. That, I, lo I love that guy too. I, I love RuPaul. Ooh. Now, the, he, if you yeah. see RuPaul, when yeah. RuPaul dressed like a woman, I swear down, yeah. you yeah. will never know RuPaul as a man. Yeah. So, the, so the thing is, is it that that, that was why, that was what, you know, attracted you to, 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 to the trans community or it made you, or you were, you already had that. Before then, I was already attracted to that community. Yeah. So will you say you're pansexual or? Bisexual. Pan, Hell. Pansexual. Pan. Yeah. Explain that. Okay, so pansexual, basically, uh -huh. you're attracted to both woman, man, trans. I like everything. as in they do. Nobody say, I attract, say, I won't go chase them. No. Okay. So um, I, want, I want to ask, mm. when you came to Nigeria and you started your music career, Nigeria is not big on accepting. Even right now, mm -hmm. people are struggling to accept mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. gay people. And Those were people. the dark days of when I come. Yes. Uh -huh. so Very dark days. How did it affect you? How did they stigmatize you? Yes, I was you very stigmatized. With. In fact, it started from the house, started from my parents. Mm -hmm. I remember one day I went to visit my father in the court. He warned me, say, make a no near where in day at all. Wow. Looking like this. I, and then I told him in anger. I said, one day, now you go find me. Mm. And I no go grieve. Mm. Yeah, I never for, forget that. <laughs> then he was always saying things like, ah, this is not going to work. You're throwing away your, your life, you know. After you go correct school, see what they, they come, they do. See how it look. See this one, this one. I say, why you not gonna walk? So I can't ask him, I say, you yourself, as you did look me, do you think I'm what I'm trying to, to portray? To portray? I be you know Sabi me again. He say, eh, but anyway, say this no go walk. Say people go think are they stupid, people go think are they crazy. People, I say, oh, it's all about people. Mm -hmm. I say, when it's time to Show those people, say, no be Chris. All of this has been doctored and it's intentional. When you reach that time, I go show them, say, I get brain through. They say, well, no be for Nigeria. Mm. But I thank God that before he died, he swallowed his words and he went around introducing himself as Charlie is Boy's father. Wow. wow. Love it. Now, I mean, this is, this, is, this is perfect way of, I mean, this episode is going to make a lot of people to understand one thing that I believe that this episode is going to do to a lot of people, to a lot of young people out there is to make them understand that you need to be proud of who you are, no matter who you are, no matter the kind of personality that you have. There's a reason why you have that kind of personality. There's a reason why you're Leo. There's a reason why you're a terrorist. There's a reason why you're a terrorist. Whatever your star is, there's a reason for that. Now, um, this is also going to make people say, okay, I'll not be alien. I have a reason for being who I am. Mm -hmm. Now, um, your father later accepted you for who you are. Because, I mean, in don't come finally see him. Say, ah, if I'd like, make I talk from now until tomorrow. This picking will be high in day. Mm -hmm. How do you, did, did, did you replicate that to your kids? Or you said, the way we, my papa take do me. Mm -hmm. I don't go do one for my children. My children, <laughs> live the kind of life that you want to live. And be true to yourself, live your truth. Of course, because I felt my father was a hardball. I felt my father, he used to say things 
back way back then, like um, uh, when we did go to school, we used to walk 20 miles. Mm. We go carry our chair for head, carry book for head. I can't wonder why is this man always See, giving like, me this analogy. I can't say <laughs> you they carry chair for head, they carry book for head, they walk out 20 miles. Wear cars, the food for this compound. I be are you trying to get us to walk to the school? Mm. You know. But I thank God for all the training I got from that guy. Mm -hmm. Because if to say no be as in take handle me, maybe I for loss true true. Mm -hmm. You know. And uh yes. Because after he retired now, I went and got him and my mother to come live with me. And that was the best job I ever had in my life, taking care wow. of my parents. Mm -hmm. The best job where you can say I was making restitution, I was paying because I spoiled from Belle. Mm -hmm. I gave those people, I, I nearly killed themselves, mm -hmm. I think, you know, because at 16, you can imagine at 16, I don't born. Yeah, I started making babies quite early. Whoa! At age 16? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You had your first there, child at 16? There about 16, <laughs> 17. I'm not good with you know. So My first son is, is almost uh, 53. Were you in America then or in Nigeria? I only went to America. I stayed f only five years, Barry. In Nigeria here? Eh? The first child, did you have him in, uh, hey, no. in Nigeria? I say I only spent five years in America. What, what was it like? What was the family, the family of the mother of your child? How did they take it? I don't know. I say no be me now. Because my have... mates, I did, why not now? Uh -uh. My mates, this for school, they get me, I did the impregnant woman. What do you want me to do? And if to say I agree that time, eh, the pity where they forbid me. Mm. I remember make I share this one with you. I yeah. remember one day for village, oh, mm. you know, during the war, you know. So two families came, mm. you know, a bit like, they are picking, both of their picking, they are getting picking, they get they get belly. So my papa, you know, you get us, you go take call me, I know say yeah, well don't gas. So I think come on, call me. <laughs> I can't come down. You say, where I know these people. I said, I know them small. <laughs> be like, <laughs> be like, <laughs> be like <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> I said, I know them small. He said, meaning waiting. I said, then they come, the girls, then they come. You know, we and the boys where they play football. Mm -hmm. Say they know all those other boys. Mm -hmm. No be only me. You go explain. So I back up say, when I know say them get better. Mm. I say, hey. Jesus. <laughs> How do you, <laughs> I said, but why they tell me now? Why they come here? I be small boy now. No fit, I go fit in pregnant wow. anybody. I be think say my papa be one smile, but you know because of the seriousness of the thing, he just they hold the smile like say no, I must not smile. This is a serious matter. So now so me I take escape. Oh. I say. No, no, no. I'm too young to impregnant him. Anyway, no, no, see that time in Africa, say everywhere, they go left, right, and center. I know, I can no boys now, I can. So, I would like to know how, I would like to know how the thing take turn out. Did you at a point now say, ah, this thing, when I do that year, when I deny you, uh, maybe I don't reach one level where, how did it turn out? And I went, some of my friends come, they tease me, say, ah, go carry your picking or go carry your picking. Because, because he, the picking is every person. You know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, my picking, they look like me. <laughs> I don't feel denied. So now when they know my friends come, don't talk the thing too much. Um, that my first son. Um, I went for it. I go try and make up with him, mama. At what age? Uh, I don't they reach like 20, 20 something. You're yeah, back uh, from the States then? Mm. No, I never go. You safe. never go. Safe. No. I say I only go, I spend. Five whether days. I reach five years, I don't know. I didn't, didn't like, like America at all. Back, back to the question I asked you about <laughs> how your parents treated you and how you replicated that into the lives of your children. Because the truth is, a lot of people, mm -hmm. um, uh, we leave the experience that we had growing up. Now, which is what I tell some people, when somebody acts in some certain way, 
you don't just look at what is happening in the surface. You ask yourself where it is, where, where is it coming from? There must have been history that led to that person having that mindset. Now your children, I mean, you allowing them, because I know of your daughter that mm -hmm. is um, publicly lesbian. lesbian. Mm -hmm. um, is it just that one or you have other kids that are, uh, no, just just her alone. Just her. And mm -hmm. I remember one time that you that that there was this public quarrel with you mm -hmm. and, and her, her and her. Mm -hmm. And then I mean, what happened? Can you run us through that? Well, she just like you know what they say what goes around comes around. Mm -hmm. You know? As I pepe my papa, my parents that time. I think this one was trying to pepper me too, you know. <laughs> but I adopted a new way of dealing with my kids in terms of, you know, we are more friendly. Mm -hmm. They are like my buddies. Mm -hmm. I wasn't my father's buddy, buddy, you know, in the beginning. Mm -hmm. It was like, he was the major general. You take orders. He was always talking about discipline. There was time to pray, time to sit at the table, time to read, time to go to bath, time for everything. It was like a military barracks. I said I wasn't going to do that with my kids. Mm. You know, I was just going to be free and friendly with them because mm. I didn't like that approach. Oh, it was with you, yeah. Friends. And then, uh, so for this particular, because I have very special children you know they are not your regular ordinary kind of children oh, wow. yeah very very special and most of them mm, then collect sense some if they be like say they get sense past me or then they feel you know they don't know waiting and they lie down they see if they stand up they no fit see them. Mm -hmm. anyway now so one day Naim this my babe come call me say daddy yeah I have something very important to say. I said, yeah, I say I'm not. He said, are you sitting? Are you standing? I said, I said, well, ask me call you. Now for phone, he call me. I said, ask me that one. I know. The way my mind, the wrong go, he say, ah, make you not come be like, say, this girl don't pregnant too. Mm. Now they are my mind there. Mm. And remember, I don't tell you now for this our discussion, say, you don't tell you where they like those kind of people. Yes, yes, you know? yes. Uh -huh. So when she now came out, boom, and then gave me the, this thing, I was feeling somehow, I didn't know whether to accept, whether, mm. I said, but what can I do? Mm. But what I was most mindful of, I said, I don't want anything where I go do, I go say the wrong thing, we go keep this girl away, away, from, from, away from, far from me, because I didn't want that to happen. So I said, okay, make we carry on with that discussion the next day. So then I was now reviewing myself. I said, ah, if I no support this girl, I be say I'll be hypocrite. Mm. Because <laughs> I deal with the community, I they say as in they behave. Some of them are my friend. Okay, so my daughter don't become one now. Mm. Within I won't talk. Mm. So when we carried on with the conversation the next day. You know, all I just had to ask was, uh, are you sure? He said, they sure. You think you're going to be happy? Yeah. So for as far as I was concerned, it was her happiness, whatever she wanted to do. After all, my father couldn't stop me from being Charlie Boy. So who am I to stop anybody? If they say that that's what they want to do. And uh my kids are not stupid, you know. I have very, very sharp, intelligent children. So if that's what he wants to do and that will make her happy. So uh, and, 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 and I mean, how did it, where, where did the rancor now come from? Because oh, she was feeling like I shouldn't go be explaining on her behalf. Oh, mm. because she thought, yeah, she yeah. thought I was doing too much of that, okay. you know. So, of course, you know, when children are hurt, you know, uh, when the throat words will be said, then go the throat, then go the even the thing where you know, do then go the hip on you, mm. Mm. then go the accuse you of so many things, and that's exactly what so happened. How do you handle it? I go handle them now. I had to call her, say, No, we shouldn't be talking right. like this. So, the next thing I did, I would just, I just said, Okay, I'm sorry. 
Mm. And I publicly apologized mm. to her. So. Oh. Okay, so, so, so that them, that calmed her down mm. a bit. The, them seeing you grow up, right? Did they mm. ever complain about the way you were dressed? Or no, no, no. They knew so, it was all an act oh. because mm. what they saw in the newspapers and so what they see, yeah, mm-hmm. it wasn't what they were. So, saying. do you think that influenced your daughter? Maybe so? my it might just have. Mm. Yeah, maybe. So, so there's this video. I saw online yesterday, Whoopi Goldberg was saying that we don't have to be friends with our kids. I don't know if anybody else saw it. Uh, you don't have to be friends with your kids until they're mature. I mean, when they're young, you need to keep that. You need to pay rent. You need to pay rent and mm. leave friendship aside because friendship mm. will make them get too comfortable and they will take you for granted. Mm-hmm. So what, what do you think, sir? There's some kind of truth in that because, you know, I noticed this was a while back. My children started having this um, entitlement. Mm. This thing like as if, you get one day when my picking, one of them can say, ah, every time they say they broke, every time they say they broke, who they talk, who they tell that one to <laughs> We don't go check you for Google or where they say they check. They say they give you, say you are worth over some, some, some millions of dollars. I say, Mika. <laughs> I can't <I> con- <laughs> sit down, me and you, they say. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got the one that I say, ah, ah. I say, okay, is that what is mm. swimming in their head? Mm. They think I have. I say, if you like, no, go get your own. Mm. You don't get a time. I don't block all my children. I say, man, I don't talk to me. Bad pickings. Mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah. But me, I know sense, huh? you know. But I've always loved children. We just like me now. And it is say uh, I go lost. Now me take my hand. Now me can't get money pass that my papa. Can't they popular pass that my papa? Mm-hmm. So when I've been the carrier and they go around as I say don't come settle, they relax mm-hmm. for Abuja. The man, they always take him out, talk him now. Even when, like, visitors come, you know, I carry and go somewhere. Before you go talk, you go tell you, say, now him be that Charlie boy in Papa. Now him born Charlie boy. You understand? Yeah. So, when I come, they look this ones, my <laughs> own, with sense of entitlement. Like, say, they are entitled. Mm. Say, if not like me, when I did, they are one couple. And I know you see, I shop my would money. You, would, you, would, you, would, you, would you Would you be... Would you be a, a, a um, Jackie Chan? Would you have done a Jackie Chan thing where Jackie Chan said he's not going to leave any money for his kids? Go mm-hmm. hustle your money. Would you do that? Did you do that? That's what I'm doing. He said, would I do? <laughs> <laughs> the thing I did do now. I mean, let me hustle my own now. So everybody go find your level. You must find your level. No, depend on anybody but yourself. Wow. So you yeah, support but the it, but but yeah, if you be my picking and you they do well, like a few of them, they do. Plug you. Hey, you go they support them from, you know. But don't make it a habit. Say the child now don't turn to depend on you. Mm. I know I wasn't dependent on my parents, so mm. why should they depend on me? Mm. You understand? Um, and before we get into marriage and this thing. Now, would you would you say it is not wise for parents? Because there was one video that me and Osmatera did recently, and I posted on Facebook, and a lot of people started. I saw some comments in that video. I said that if your parents not do for you, hustle yourself. That your uncle, where you expect my uncle rich? No, your uncle hustling hustle mm, where mm, make him rich. Mm, mm, Leave mm, your uncle mm, money, mm, face your mm, own. Mm, do you? And there's some people say hey, at least uncle supposed to pave the way. He's supposed mm, to make some kind of plugins. He's supposed to do this. So what? What would you say to people that have such mentality? It's too bad. Their mumu na follow come. Mm. Any child where no no say see. Success is dependent on the individual. Mm-hmm. I don't see people. In fact, when I did secondary school, my best friend was an orphan. You know, get mama, you know, get papa. Then they contribute for him to come school. Yet he was the best student, the mm. senior prefect, the everything, everything like that. And 
I used to go to fraternize with him, so he could take me for extra studies, mm -hmm. you know, privately, or, because I know they like anybody see me where they read, mm -hmm. because I was trying to show myself, make like say I be one native doctor. <laughs> If he say, I chop guys money for secondary school. <laughs> school. How? Because people bought into that shit. Because I used were. to do so many weird stuff. It was unbelievable. I don't they get sense, they come sense. And because you see, the money where you take your hand, make sweet past the one, then give it. Period. So now so I they scoop all the students. But, but so you're talking about your friend as an orphan. Well, there's something <laughs> I want to pick from what you said. <laughs> you said, there's sometimes, you get one time where I wear, where I begin dress one type of way. This is Mumu here. They begin <laughs> call me, say whether I get midlife crisis. <laughs> so, so I'm just wearing ring. I'm going to wear pyjama. Because that time, I swear down, that was one of your posts that I saw. I see rings. So I now went for a shoot with Intake by Atom. So on that set, and they gave me that ring that I saw you wearing. I said, no, you see, for this week, I'm going to be a badass. <laughs> so I can't tell the costume, I say, give me all this thing. So black rings call, baffled. When the people go to say, don't join calls. Mm -hmm. I said, my guy begin complaining, say, no, I'll get one. Have you joined cult? <laughs> have you? Have you have, is it midlife crisis? No, yeah. back to what you now say. You say you deceived a lot of you, collected a lot of people's money. Did you, when you were living the Charlie Boy life, you were living that fab life, look, this is me, like you can go F yourself, I don't give a flying F about you. Uh -huh. did, did, the, did the people, the LGBT community, did anybody that was gay at any time started toasting you? Did they ever toast you and I spent money on you and you were like, oh, no problem, bring me money. <laughs> did you ever, did you ever, no, did you ever, no, did you ever, I did you ever to collect money from them? No, I know reach that side, I know take, but you know, I was always fingering people's head. Mm. I like, I was always pranking people. Mm. Before when I start to the prank, yes. I don't the prank people, I don't scope them since 1970. She naked me. Mm -hmm. Yes. I don't the scope people and I believe in... <laughs> you know, because we are seasoned like you now, see you, you can't act anything. This one with the... Can be mad today, normal tomorrow, <laughs> anything where you like, and that's the beauty, you know, yeah. of being an artist. Yes, mm -hmm. you yes, know. yes. And it, it 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 got to the point. I will not lie to you. I'm going to be honest. This is the honest bunch. We'll say the words. I've heard a lot. Ah, Charlie boy. Ah, Charlie boy. And I Ah, no, I'm be the papa of gay people for Nigeria. <laughs> I'm like, but well, why do you say that? Have you you don't catch him in the act of that so why would you i mean it's not like it's a problem it's not a problem each to its own is mm -hmm. whatever makes you happy live your life live your truth as long as you know they fight another person as long as say you're not in quarrel with god because god we didn't even talk about you know you know what in god like mm -hmm. do you get me so i hear that a lot and it's mm -hmm. about ah, you don't see that video way one video like that we trend that after two and ten with darren lee and kiss darren lee i'm like people do that all the time on on the stage in um, go 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 to America on, on the um, uh, Madonna M Madonna kiss the lady Spears. Britney Spears do that and then you see actors on a uh, uh, what's it without actors award what did they do what they do recently uh, the global global which one the, the album, full movie by tomorrow and she mm -hmm. no be Oscars Oscars mm -hmm. you see people come on stage a guy who kiss a guy you know these people are straight so why. Why are you not seeing beyond your nose? So do, do, when you hear these things about you, how do you handle them? Tete, I know say Nigerian people, most of us will be mumu. <laughs> like I don't tell on a mumu na follow come. So I like to prank them. Mm. If that's what they are thinking, keep thinking. I'll give you more reasons to think the thing by yourself. Like I don't you. care because I know who I am mm. and I'm comfortable with who I am. So it doesn't matter what anybody's thinking, whether I be or I know be. You know, consign me. Eh? 
For all those ones where they talk, tell them, say one time, make them bring their mama or bring their sister, <laughs> come jam. <laughs> then we'll go find out who be gay, who no be gay, you know. So it's my life, my prerogative. So talking about um, pranking people and, you know, <laughs> there was this time I heard that you have coffin in your house and mm-hmm. you go to sleep in the coffin for mm-hmm. hours and or that days. You know? That's true. Mm-hmm. On our entertainment. Is that true? Uh-huh. Why? <laughs> Why? Z. <Zed. laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, I need to know. Oh my God! Need to know. Is it, is it hey, part so of the prank? make people pranking? like you. They talk, they go. <laughs> I'm, I didn't talk. I said I heard, and I'm asking. Uh-huh. But uh-huh. I'll, I'll not uh-huh. lie to you. Let Let me say it. You see, the truth is, just like Osba Matira said. Before Alte Gang started mm-hmm. dressing mm-hmm. Alte, Charlie true. Boy was Mr. Charlie Charlie. Charlie Boy <laughs> was the one that heralded that dressing. Mm-hmm. It was a sick because you you know why I know say Charlie Boy own day different. You know why I know say he own day different. He own uh, is it because everybody has a gift. Don't ever think that your gift is weird. Don't ever think that what you like is weird. Mm-hmm. No, what you like is not weird. What you like is full of Kong. Is who you are. He didn't learn his from anybody. Mm-hmm. Him wanting to do makeup, wanting to dress the way he dresses, he not learn that from anybody. So if he not learn that from anybody, that means he's full of calm, he didn't body, which means you too can have your own. It's just that a lot of people like to cover who they are mm-hmm. because of mm-hmm. wanting to mm-hmm. fit into mm-hmm. the society. Mm-hmm. Now, wanting to fit into the society is even wrong because the truth is, if you want to fit into the society, there are millions of people wanting to fit into the society. Join the queue. But when you are yourself, you go see a lot of people that are like you that are hiding that will say, oh, I'm taking a cue from this person. You become their leader. Mm. Mm. Very true. My guy. <laughs> I will give you one wrap of you, but make you sense. Your head correct. Your head correct well, well. And you just said the truth. You understand? Mm. Because, um, you see, that's the bane of pioneers. Yes. Mm. Nobody don't know where all these things start from. Mm-hmm. Because nobody care. Because the children of nowadays, now within, within the rain, hey, yes. they say, now nah, make a day here. Within the rain, oh, now nah, black sneakers, they rain now. Nah. Where, how it takes start, who's how, starting? who's starter, mm. you understand, you know, so you are totally right, okay, but any person we, like I said, that's the bane of the pioneers, hmm. it's like we it, start things, it's, like, it's, it's, like ju- gonna... it's just like uh, this music industry, where mm. they do now, Would they even come there, how, how, before, you know how Nigerian artists, then they be, if mm-hmm. you see them, you, you know, go look twice. Sorry. Where is that? Mm. Before, the kind of respect where they get, mm. oh, then they treat them like worse than people We, As a P-Man president, I can't warn all the corporate bodies. I say, if anybody is paid less than one million, they'll face the route of Charlie Boy. Mm. And at that time, that was my peak season. Nobody wanted to mess with a Charlie mm-hmm. boy. Because I go flood hundred or cut up people, area boys everywhere. I go stop your business. Mm. I go prevent you from making money. And nobody wanted that. Mm. You know, even within the Decola, Nigeria breweries, they yes. tried me. But, you know, because the exploitation was too much. Hmm. And I kept telling corporate boy, corporate Nigeria, I said, listen, these people will not they bring come when I go pay them seven hundred thousand dollars, some ridiculous amount. Meanwhile, they no go even fit pay Nigerian at hmm. five hundred thousand. Hmm. Hmm. Because I also understood at the time, say then they take some of this money, then they then they divide that among mm-hmm. themselves, mm-hmm. then we'll just give them. But now they can't disrespect. But you know something, my brother? When you're fighting for some people, now those same people, they fight you back mm. for fighting for them. Because mm. I did this country, some Nigerian artists, just they talk. I'm not gonna mention name. Hey, mm. we know they we are not PMA member. Charlie mm. Boy is not my president. Mm. Uh, if they give me 200, I must collect. Uh-huh. Anyone they give me, I go collect. 
Charlie Boy can't come tell me what shirt to play or what shirt not to play. But it was for their own good, just like the Okada people. And for their own good, when you go call me, say you want to employ Charlie Boy, I go first ask you, oh yeah, what you get for this community? Mm. Bring and first. That one different too, from my own money you get to pay me. I must see what you want to do for this community mm. before I even agree whether I go endorse your product or not. So interesting. So we, this particular one about your stint as or gag pata pata for P-Man. Mm -hmm. Now something when we say we go chuck mouth on top before we can enter the marriage one. Now I remember say, you know, before you enter as P-Man or gag, many, many artists them that time, not they like identify with the organization because they just feel you say, people just, they gather, they know they protect our interests. But when you enter, I remember that time, I know if you forget, now that period, Idris Abdul Karim, and 50, 50 cents. cents. Get that issue when they say somebody sit down for private jets, they don't provide for them, then they treat them anyhow. I go like make you break that story that make people understand because today we they see Nigerian artists for abroad. Mm -hmm. The bill I said, and they worship them. Mm. If person remember that period before you become the people president, you know, go think say this kind of thing happened. What thing happened that time? But that time, uh, where they talk. I've been on the talk distance, say, see you, <laughs> you get where you go reach, say now our people, mm -hmm. then go, they worship us. True. Of course, now people think I've been just, they talk nonsense. Now, I want this, our people, where they are, then go, they, and then we come, they worship us. Now, to Idris matter, I did where I did where they do my hair, then they try, do my manicure and pedicure. I have a phone call, Phone call coming. Come be Idris. Ah, okay, come, come here, Porto, come here, Porto. Then they kill your boy, then they kill your boy. What did happen? He said, I saw 50 cents uh, bodyguards take beat him. <laughs> oh, that thing come. Like I say, my head just cut. I, leave, I left everything I was doing. And you know, say, that time, I go to walk up for street too. If I walk up past Okada, they say. Then go follow if you. If I do hand like this, everybody, they come. So now, so it was almost 3,000 bikes yeah. following me to the airport. Uh, the airport. Yeah. So we can't land. 50 cents, they were getting ready to go to Port Harcourt. It was in the car. Because of this incident, what happened? Mm. So there was some kind of confusion. Mm. Yeah. But they were almost set to go to Potakot. Yeah, because he had four other shows. So as I land now, of course, I was looking for Idris. But yeah, tell me, what thing happened? What happened? He said, he can go sit down for first class. 50 cents in bouncers come say no, it was that place, no, before them. No Nigerian artist <laughs> should sit in the first class. Can you imagine? Uh, hey, in, in your own country too. He <laughs> said, no Nigerian artist. So they send 50 cents. They say, make you go back. You know, uh, you know, Idris. Idris now. You know, one screw didn't lose for your head. Idris saying, no, they go. So now so 50 cents in bodyguards, con discipline, passion face. Even the... Uh, Idris and bodyguard will come to rescue you. Know, then beat them too. Then beat them. Was well, 50, 50, yeah. 50 cents aware of it? Of course now. Yeah. Go on, of continue. course. Continue. So as soon as I landed, after Idris don't tell me his story, I say, where 50 cents there? Then, po then point to one jeep. Say, Nadia, there. Nadia in there. So I go inside. Already, all the men, they don't they see some kind of movement. Yeah. Movement everywhere. Okada people, everybody just oh <laughs> their eye they red. And my own eye, and I read parcel. Because I don't joke do. <laughs> <laughs> so as I entered the car now, I can't say, okay. So now you they beat my people. You come Nigeria. You they beat my people. You were talking to 50 cents now. Oh yes now. I say, you think say if you reach Port Harcourt, mm -hmm. are, are you sure you are going to this Port Harcourt? I say, my advice is that you should cancel this show. Hmm. 
Because now fuck up, you fuck up. I go come Nigeria, your people they beat, you know. So as you sit down for first class, and be say we no reach to sit down for first class or waiting. I don't understand. So he see as the way that they take talk. I, talk. And he's a hood boy. He's from the projects, yeah. the ghetto. So when I tell and say, you fit rich for that cost, so you're supposed to understand. Yes. You understand? Yeah. Uh-huh. Long story short, do you know that that was how that show, the continuation of that show stopped right there at the airport. They didn't say they know they go anywhere. Mm-hmm. And Nigerian breweries wasted a lot of money because they canceled everything. Now that one where they had to make Poop. Wow. Whatever Idris came, you know, because sometimes some of us, we they do that bullshit. When we need to make some noise, we climb on somebody's back, bow mouth to them so we can get some accolade, you mm-hmm. know. I don't think it's necessary, but to each his own. I saw that story got twisted, yeah. you know. But that was what I just said was the real thing that happened. Wow. So how did you deal with Nigerian <laughs> breweries moving forward? Because I know say that time then they put money where where That's for this meant. kind of this thing. Even though some Nigerian artists not the really after see. that, after that, good question. After that, I think it was Jaru. Mm. Mm. Yeah, Jaru mm. came to. When I told them, I said, if you do that show in Nigeria, there'll be dead bodies all over the place. Okay. You told Jaru. I told the organizers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I said that one, that that was my peak. Yeah. So nobody mess with CB. So they now organized me. Nigeria Breweries organized me. The IG of police invited me to Abuja. I've been thinking I won't propose. I don't give them. Say they won't give, find me contract. Uh-huh. I don't know, saying I rest, won't happen. So as soon as I got there, then say, that time I had already written to all the, all the um, record industry in America and told them not to let their artists come to Nigeria. It's not safe. Ha. Huh. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that was what Odimegu, the MD at the time, yes. went to talk to Obasanjo and uh, say, as I did, bad mouth Nigeria. And then I arranged with the IG of police. So as soon as I went there thinking I was going to go and collect contract, they said, make I sit down, say, I first go right to all the people who I don't write for America to tell them that it's safe to come to Nigeria. I say I will never do that because nobody only me right. Other people sign. So mm. call all everybody, everybody before I go write that letter because I knew I wasn't going to write it. So, of course, I tell them, say, me, I don't ready, even though I don't carry something. I know someone I won't detain me. So tell me where I go stay. <laughs> I said, then carry me, go put for one office. You get AC, mm-hmm. okay. you get toilet, you get everything. So I wasn't in the cell, more mm. or less. I was in an office, you know. Mm. My father came the next day. He said, ah, he say, oh, don't start again. Okay, mm. we should uh, get you out of here. I said, I'm not going anywhere. Ha! Ah! You know why? I smart now. Because I know, say, if I come out, something will happen. And it may not look good for me. Mm. Because I don't get that kind of money to fight yeah. Nigerian breweries. And as I don't talk, say somebody blood go flow. Make you no know, come end up being my blood. But blood go flow. I say, make I just relax there, JJ. After all, I did there, yeah, they come massage me inside the office. Mm. Uh-huh. And they get every kind of treatment. <laughs> so, <laughs> and that's how I spent three weeks there. Wow. Till they finish their show and come see that Jaru show, ask anybody will come. There were military people all over. Even though I still did sell. Ah. They brought a battalion of military people to the show. So people know to enjoy themselves because mm. only everywhere you turn. You have, you see guns. Now guns and army people. Like say, now Second World War. 
Ah, that time I've been the trouble. Who, 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 who do you, before we move to marriage, or before Osmosa or, or, asks the next question, who do you see right now? Because take it or leave it, you changed how brands pay mm -hmm. Nigerian music true, artists. True, true. Oh, you had a major role in it. And you changed how um, um, brands perceive Nigerian music artists. Because if not for what you did with 50 Cent, and I mean, it, it supported Idris Abdul Karim to do with 50 Cent and the Jaru, and your leadership, of, and your Piman leadership generally. of Piman generally, there's no way things would have changed. To be quite honest with you, things would have, it would have been, you know, as, 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 mm -hmm. as, as it mm -hmm. used to be. Now, how would you say, who is the artist now? In Nigeria, that you think this person now only do like me to change things. I be you not see anybody where it be like CB. Oh, almost like. Almost like CB. Yeah, on a difficult question. I don't know if it answer. Wow. Mm. Is it that hard? Mm. Wow. I know one mm. upset any. So, or, or did you say there's only oh, one no CB? Comment. No oh, comment. no comment. Yeah. There's only one CB. There's only, there's one, there's only CB. one this artist. There's only one that artist. No, see, you know, for the things I did in those days, ah, you must be overshot. Could they worry you? Mm. I don't remember one time I go stop traffic for waiting the Nicola, um, Ikorodu Road. Because as I said, they carry my bike. Some area boys don't, don't gang me up somewhere. I say, I must drop. I say, okay, no worry. We'll go form checkpoint right here now. And lo and behold, that's what I did. Form checkpoint. We're collecting money. <laughs> <laughs> so they come tell me, say, ah, governor, police people come. Say, I say, governor, I say, governor, wait. When we finish with you, they do. Governor can pass. Governor had to wait. There was this, the traffic was stretched all the way from as you're getting to that Maryland Junction, uh, all the way to to National Theatre, past National uh, Theatre, uh, like say they come so Lagos. What the hell? You understand? So now so me and the boys who come there now, they call those some people say they no go pay. So I go just say no stress them. Because we knew what we were doing was illegal. Yeah. <laughs> but yes, I did that. And I think that day we collected over no be twenty twenty naira been them they drop. Collected over a hundred thousand. So the boys, the area boys, they look say, what thing I won't do now. So when we don't finish, I say, Okay, I don't work for Nabi. This is your money. Take it. I got on my bike. I wow. left them. <laughs> wow. Interesting. We go still enter the one about oh. Okada people, even widows, because you get plenty of people, even uh, um, people when they related to ex-military personnel. We get something else we they do today. We uh, no, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. no okay. but, but you get one very important one we okay. talk about your advocacy for social justice. Mm -hmm. You get this album when you released for 1988. The album was titled 1990. Now that year, they mean they talk, say military go handover. Mm -hmm. And then fearlessly, you been address all the issues when we say we they faced with for for Nigeria. What it me those things when influence you to the point where we say, even though this thing you know say this is the way they do that the right thing, you know, this is the way you want to address they bad, but people they fear because ah no be me won't talk. Oh. What it be that thing where they always influence you to to still talk say this thing bad even though if I won't kill me more than kill me. Cause I know I don't care if I die today. I'm not supposed to be alive in the first place. Ah uh -uh, why? Why? Because the kind things I don't do for my life, the good, the bad, the very ugly, you understand? Hmm. And some kind of risk why I don't take. If nobody say God hand day for my life, uh, you know, it's not possible for somebody like me to still hmm. be alive. And all the people where I don't offend, corporate people or no be individuals, uh -huh, why I don't offend because, you know, they wanted something else and I thought we were deserving of something else, you know. We, you know, even my junior brother self, oh. we every day in Aswade Kosa, you know, uh -huh. you know, my junior brother. <laughs> <laughs> Figure that out yourself, you know. <laughs> you know? Uh, so, 
I don't get any reason to they are alive. So, What's the worst thing that you think you've ever done? I used to be a thief. How was that? I don't steal anybody thing personally, you know, but I was scamming banks and, you know, even before when I began here 419, I don't do small. That's the worst. You know, judging how I was brought up, that's the worst. You used to scam banks? Yeah. And yeah. be paid? Of course. How? I, I, we don't want to get into the how. <laughs> I just told you the worst thing I've done. Like, you know, coming from the neck of wood where I'm coming from. I mean, if it was in Nigeria, it wasn't in Nigeria. Okay. I could only do this thing because I was away oh, from okay. my parents' okay. prying okay. eyes. Okay. And it was like, uh, not only me day now, I had nobody to answer to, nobody to command me. And I wanted to get my own, my own, to have it. Though that wasn't the wrong, that wasn't the right way. Yes, and I don't it. advocate that, uh, mm. you know, people should, I was just stupid and dumb at the time. So, if, sorry, sorry, my love. If you were asked, what's that thing? That you've ever, because sometimes it's like, you don't get what I did. They ask somebody, they ask one man, I think it was 72 or 70 something. That was in London. They asked the man, what's that thing that you did that is crazy, that gave you that adrenaline rush that make you feel like, shit, I'm alive. What's that thing ever? There's so many, I can't even, you know, now that we're talking, I can't pin my finger uh, on any. That's why I'm, that's why I say I have no business being alive. Mm. Yeah. You've been married how many times now? Four. Can you take us through the journey of all the marriages? What led to the no, beginning? No, of... that's too that's too long a story. What's the be- what's the worst of the four of them? What's the best of the four of them? Which there's is no rather worst, there's no best. Everything is seasonal in people's life. There's a time. Listen, that's why young marriages don't work hmm. most of the time because. We're always marrying for the wrong reasons. Wow. Yeah. Like when I married, I married the one way me, I take my hand, Mario. You get one way because as I said, they impregnant girls <laughs> up and down. My mama go carry one bush me to say, make I marry that one. That one, I know they count them, but it's still a marriage because we're married in church. Mm-hmm. Then I go marry one as, I, as soon as I got to America. It was for the wrong reason, a green card. So nobody marries me. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Even the one way all of them are known, say I married. And I still wrong reason because that time, a day young, I, I wanted to get into show business. So I needed a Gregorious lady by my side. We, you know, get Korean ash, correct everything. Mm-hmm. We find that can represent for the wrong reason. Mm-hmm. But for that wrong reason, I can't discover, say, I don't collect more than 45 years old. <laughs> with the wrong reason. Mm-hmm. Wow. Wow. One would yeah. think that being in 45 years of marriage, oh, must have been successful for you to be there for 45 years. Yeah. Not necessarily. But I'm just someone that I believe in commitment. If mm-hmm. you commit... You know, if you commit to, I don't, like people say, do you, hey, you must love your wife. I say, for where? I don't love anything because I, the concept of love is different for me. Love is that thing that makes you go all fuzzy and warm. So you can have it in the morning. By afternoon, the thing don't turn to another thing. By evening, forget. But if you're committed to something, you're always walking on that thing, mm. no matter constantly, mm. people they walk. So, yeah, I felt committed to that, to, to you know, that, not that because one. I'm having a very, very happy marriage. No, I'm not. In fact, as I talk to you, I don't tie yourself. Oh, yeah. But wait, you know, I mean, you can tire. <laughs> it's allowed to be tired. How come I be saying, no, oh, I'm a killie, I'm a superman. I can't. He's a liar. You can't tire. 
she finished with enter. Mm-hmm. You know, because all that thing where you take marry initially, no be that one they look oh. mm. Mm. because your season don't change. Mm. You want something new. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If you remember that video where I do, I say ah before when I I was coming to that video. <laughs> when I get to Dada, mm. I say hey, now nah, with Dada now nah, you now nah, go bury me oh. for where. I don't, I, one morning I just wake up. Go to my From there, I did ride bike. Hey, they say now you champion biker. Now you start bike for where? Start bike for Nigeria. When people don't they ride before me, I made it just. I only made it you popular. Begin for Lonyash. Yeah, only made it popular. I think I go to ride bike till I die for where? I've not been on a bike for seven years. Wow. wow. Yeah, and as I ride. Leave him, I know die, now God hand. Mm. Because I supposed to don't die on top bike. Not be my mates, don't die on top bike. Uh-huh. Before I they like women, eh? oh, I mean, So they, so they, so they, I they like nyash, correct nyash, factory fitted nyash, bobby everything. Let me make I go marry that uh, model. Eh? Uh-huh. Now my prick not the rice. So how we go do that? Mm-hmm. I don't know how to react to that. <laughs> no, but, but the, the, truth, the truth about this is it's really very, very deep. And if we go by your age and your experience over the years, it is very, very clear. Say, this life, this life, you go see everything. That's what I'm telling you about time and season. Mm. Mm. When a certain season don't pass, you yourself, in the next 10 years, Your talk go different. Your wants go different. Your needs go different. You mm. understand? Mm-hmm. Now I'm at a mellow stage. I need, I need the kind wife we go, we go, where I go submit to. Mm. Mm. Nobody say the person no, go submit, submit to, to me. Mm. I don't want to be your girl again. I don't tire. You won't be. I want to the you answer. Want to yes, ma'am. Yes. You want to be the baby boy. Yes. Mm. Yes. Mm. Love it. Now I'm tired now. So, so back, back to what I want to say. I want to ask you all questions. You people are enjoying this too much. You're not go find me something. Yeah. <laughs> you got no problem, Daddy. Now, now, now. The thing is, Daddy, you, 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 you mentioned that you don't tire to be in charge. You see, come remind me of my friend Bob Risky. Bob Risky is not tired to be man. So please let me be woman. Let me relax. I'll be taken care of. Do you believe? There are three questions I want to ask. Do you believe in soulmates? Say there's one because there's the general thinking that there's one woman. No, we may answer them now. Leave them. Okay. Yeah, uh, may answer that one. Does he yeah, believe in questions. soulmates? Let me ask one. Mm. Do you believe in soulmates? One before I come to this. Define second. soulmate. Like there's this person that oh my god, this is the person that God is meant for me. That when I see the person, I just know. Bullshit. I feel the hebri bajibi inside of me. <laughs> Bullshit. That's okay, but that sounds so juvenile. Mm. You get me? Now the thing with small people will never mature for that lane. Now mm. so then they think. Now mm. so then they do. Ah, soulmate, my soulmate. Yeah. Now when you enter, you go see the soul. No solo. Mm. Yeah, you know mate. Mm. I mean, which is which is which is why. I mean, if going by what you said, going by what you said, you might love somebody now, in the morning, and in the afternoon. You're feeling something totally different. And in the evening, you're not it. Mm-hmm. Would you say that it's best to be polygamous then? Mm. I'm not a fan of polygamy, really, because I, I, I see the problems. Mm. I see, especially when you're raising children. And I have so many friends from polygamous family. They didn't have a nice time growing up. So it comes with its own set of problem. One at a time is is okay. But you advocate for? Do you advocate for one person for the rest of your life, or like I marry one person for like five years, the next person five years, or next person ten years? So that in you- fact, now my Peking can't give me that idea. One of my Peking, he say because he's been trying his hand at marriage, three times he's failed. He's now on his own. He's about fifty. About forty-eight, thereabout. Mm. 
And he, he called me up one day and said, Daddy, you know, it's, it be like I said, this thing no go work. Say, why can't we just, why can't I just, like I marry for three years, I sign contract, mm -hmm. when that one finish, we, I said, mm, okay, if you won't do it that way too, you know, bad. If you're a marriage counselor, like people, young people now come to you, a marriage counselor, what is the one advice or a couple of advices that you're going to give to them that you think? Before marriage or anything, friendship, friendship works for me. You guys must be friends. I know be that friend where you they, you just see somebody today saying, I'm my friend. No. You, after all, for your friend, you go not see B. So anyhow, you be, go just accept them like that. Mm. So if you have great bonding of friendship going for you, yeah, you can, that marriage can go f very far. Mm. But it has to start with friendship. Then next is communication. Your communication must be, Hundred. you know, you must be able to talk everything, open up everything. And which is some people say, that's my vulnerability. But I say, no. Because they say, you, you two talk, you two mm. talk. You, they talk everything. Mm. Why well, I no go talk everything now? Because usually the case is that, you know, if me and this babe, they date now, you go carry the one in main game. You go carry them for mine, you go put them for somewhere. Then you go come, they scope me. Me too, I go bring my main game. I no go one show up. Mm. I go, this, you know, so I mean, it's all bullshit. And you think bullshit. everybody in the relationship has a game they're playing? Most people... We are full of games, it, either knowingly or unknowingly. The unknowingly part, now be say, you've already married for the wrong reason. Mm. So now they there, now they the fool on herself. Mm. When, when oh. marriage, because what I see a lot of, a lot these days is, even in movies and real life, um, I, I've seen one or two people that are doing that, um, even if I can't mention them. If, the movie is quite popular these days in movies. When marriage, when they don't day, because take it or leave it. When marriage don't get a certain age, when I don't see finish, like you said, when I don't mm -hmm. see when I say finish. Mm -hmm. So there's, that's, 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 um, that's the spice is not there anymore. You start seeing people, okay, let's role play. I'm going to play an arm rubber. You are going to play the tenant. I'm going to play, I'm going to go to the bar. You're going to, do, do, do you advocate for such? Or yeah. you just say, do you know any, what, just any, go your way? No. Anything that can keep the fire burning, you know, me, I know the one where I they do because it's the titty and on the board for my marriage. Mm. So small time I go bring some crazy idea. Uh, waiting they vex me for where my wife they be say she know they bring the crazy idea. So it can't be like saying nah, me they do now you the whole pass. walk. Yeah, I know say I crispers, but once in a while bring your own. Huh? Mm. Come join my own. What's the craziest yeah. idea you ever brought? Not, I won't tell you that one because that one is too X-rated. I'm not gonna tell you, but make I tell you one. Mm. One day, I say, okay, so I go collect one of my customer away from the Yankee. They come, mm. say, make you escort me go. I think that was the most recent. Mm. Make you escort me go airport. Mm. So we don't reach airport now. He say. What time the plane they arrive? Mm. I say, Bill, I say, they don't arrive. Mm. Already, he no no say, the previous week, I don't, I don't collect her passport, everything. Mm. I don't mm. give unto my people. Mm. They don't mm. finish mm. everything. Mm. She don't know where she they go because she just believes, say, so she they pick go up somebody. pick up somebody for airport. Yeah. By the time we don't reach there now, she already for the first class. She's on her way to Timbuktu and all the islands. Wow. Without a toothbrush. He said, ah, waiting now, but in for pack. I said, no pack anything. We reach there. We go organize ourselves. Because I wasn't carrying anything either. Wow. I had no luggage, she had no luggage, you know. Yeah. Then one time I go just, I don't, I don't marry him five times, I'll be four times. The same person. Renewal now. Okay, okay. Vow yeah. renewals, yeah. Vow renewals yeah. isn't it? Now, I think we're not the color. <laughs> yes, now it's the now it's the color. Now re, re, renewal of vows. Renewal. Yeah. So we don't renew vows so many times. So, and, and it's what? like 
It's like I'm running out of ammo. For ammo, for ammo, ammo <laughs> boat. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to say this. I want to ask this question. I, my mind is telling me, "Chine, do me chon again? Don't ask it." But I'm going to ask it. No, ask anything now. Go now you it. said, you said. Oh Jesus Christ, Father help me. Mm-hmm. You, you you say you get to the point where you be like, ah, say your prick not they work again. Mm-hmm. So how do you not have sex? I don't care about sex anymore. Like I used to. So it's more about intimacy for you, like every other aspect of If you have tonight. skills, you can still be intimate. I got my tongue, I got my fingers, I got my eyes, I got my legs. Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! Hey! So what what um advice would you give your 20 year old self? Mm. Mm. Uh, that's deep. Mm. You got me on that one. What advice? Just to stay true to themselves. Mm. Whatever you do, stay true to who you really are. Not who you pretend to be. That's not who you are. It's like, you know, you're going to, you, now where they use Google Map or whatever, you mm. know, uh, you, you know, Google, you could tell Google, say, where you do originate from. Mm-hmm. So you could know where to direct you. Mm. But for a lot of people, they will be forming who they are not. So if you come to me, how do I know where to direct you? Mm. Mm. Very deep, very okay, deep. Quick one, sir. Um, I have a few questions to ask here. Um, when you said something right now, you said something along the way about when you were taking care of your parents, you were happy. Mm-hmm. Okay, so during that moment while taking care of them, did, did you look at them and you were like, hmm, I wish I was closer to them. I wish I spent more time with them. But that was what I was doing, being closer, spending more time, which you knew- invariably made me so... Friggin' happy mm. because it, it was like, yeah, in a roundabout way, like I said, I was making my own restitution. Mm. I don't, I don't somehow now, way back. So let so me, okay. let me, let, let me now mess you up with love. Mm. 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 Okay, so, um, because younger people that are younger generations are definitely going to watch this, and I don't want them to mix a particular message. So you you already have what you you already knew what you wanted to be. You already had your mm-hmm. main goal. Mm-hmm. You already knew how to do your things. That was why you insisted on leaving the house because you knew what you wanted. You left. Not that I had it all figured out at that mm-hmm. time, but I'm a commitment person. I was committed to being my own damn fucking self. You were committed. So for yeah. the younger ones that they don't really have any commission right now and any commitment right now and. They just want to, they just feel like, and they don't want to be a lawyer. They don't want to be a doctor. What will you say to them? They don't have anything. Let nobody no kill your dream. Mm. Not even your parents. Because mm. mm. if I, they follow my papa, well, yeah, I for there. Yeah. Is that interesting? But, but you know that. We we go through rap. We go through rap. But we will just we will bring the thing home. I bet no verse. Okay. Don't let don't let not even your papa. You gonna make me remember something to say. Don't allow your your your, your boyfriend, husband. your husband, keeping you from seeing yes. your boyfriend. Don't allow your parents boyfriend stop you from finding. <laughs> no, finding. Yeah. I want to ask some, something. That, when you were saying live your true life, there's this crazy question we're about to ask. What would you? Because it's been everywhere right now. Like it's everywhere. It's causing too much issues on social media. And you're friends with them. You are, I mean, you're, you, you've said it. You love the LGBT community. It's a wonderful community. We love all of them. LGBTQ. We, we, the, yeah, we love them. What, what would you say about people that are pretending that are not to be in it, yet are, they're getting married to people that are not and lying to them about it instead of them leaving their truth like, this is who I am. In a society that even if it's not accepted, but we know how to manage it instead of in our twice, instead of lying to people and stringing them along. To each his own. Mm. Mm. So Good. please, I wanted to say something, but I mean, we deviated. We we're talking about family and children living like, I mean, she said, if you want to be a doctor. So myself and my mom were saying something this morning. We have a neighbor that's an only son. And the father has like a huge business. Mm. 
And the boy is trying to play football right now. <laughs> if you were the father, what, <laughs> what would you do? Allow him play football. What happens to the family business? Well, you can't force him. He has to show some sign of interest or you start to woo him indirectly. Yeah. Don't just, because it's always that thing you tell your picking not, not to do. Yeah. That's the one they must do. Mm -hmm. You get it? So you have to use some kind of reverse psychology mm. on these children, yeah. you know? Because the children of nowadays, you don't give them orders, you negotiate. Ew. You sit them down and negotiate. <laughs> And if they give you arguments with superior past your own, make you, you bow. Allowed. Interesting. You'd be like, I was over here, I've been on my knees. I was over here, I was shouting at the Yo! I wasn't shouting. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I, saw, I saw him doing something and I was alarmed. And the default action was to scream his name. You understand? I see him where I'm not supposed to see him. So I shout his name out of fear. Now, so he can't look me and say, ah. But why are you shouting? <laughs> I go to him and say, leave the shout. This thing that you have done. He said, but wait, first, why are you shouting? <laughs> Proponents of the trade theory say, I said, the school fees where you're about to pay, right? you break your head. What's but the what? best tattoo you have on your body? Mm -hmm. What's your best tattoos? You have a lot of tattoos. Which is the best? Which one has the most story for you that you look at it? You the remember? most recent. No. Sometimes sentiment, like, it says a story. No, he says the most recent. He showed you. Mm -hmm. Oh, I thought you said something mm -hmm. that what, what, what's written there? Kamaya. Mm -hmm. Kamaya. What's that? Kamaya. 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 What's that mean? Precious one. Oh. And I have the names of all my children here. Oh, At least wow. the ones where they register. Oh, there's a Charlie. <laughs> you have a child that you have. Uh -huh. The ones where they register. The mm. best. Are there, are, there, are there children of yours that you don't know about? Mm. I know. There are a whole about. lot. In fact, the other day, I think that was last year, one girl where they scoped me and they say I get one picking for first stack. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I can't meet the girl, can't like her, um, especially when he sh she showed up with her children, the way we, they take, mm. take care of the children. I can't like this girl. And I really wanted it to be true. Even though I don't know the time I do. <laughs> Interesting. So uh, I now said to her, okay, let's go for a DNA. She can't agree. And I remember at that time, I said to her, I said, um, if it's not true, I still would want to be your daddy because mm -hmm. I picked a lots and lots and lots of people on the street that I'm playing the father figure to. Mm -hmm. You know, yet they're not my biological children. There are lots of them like that. Mm -hmm. So, but we went to have the DNA and it wasn't true. Mm -hmm. I say... The only thing, your mom fucked up seriously because first, there was nothing there. You, after passing you from one man to another, the thing landed on my table. Hmm. So for that thing, your mom do you can't, you, because I don't know when I come in now, if I accept it, when a manipulation go don't start hmm. since <laughs> now the thing where I take no your mama. So we left her, but you know, she calls once in a while. Like I said, she's a very focused and person. She seems like a, a good soul. So, I interesting. Keep in well, we're going to wrap. But before we do, um, it's important that you address this question so that people can learn a lesson. You had this show on television, the Charlie Boy show, that that show bet all the things so they see for Nigeria social media space today pranking, sketches, mm -hmm. skits. Mm -hmm. Candid camera. Now that show start up. But I recall growing up as a young boy in Lagos. I go to watch some of the celebs when I go interview, go to talk, say, please come and sponsor this show. It'd be like, say, sponsors been they run from the show that time. What thing happened and how did you deal with it? That time I knew that in some homes, okay, though it changed, 
after like about six years. But in some homes, if you dare put on Charlie Boy show, the beat you go get from your parents no be here. Wow. Because everybody was discouraged. Oh, don't watch that show. It just spoiled the minds of young people. Till even parents now come begin, they like the show. So they know they beat their picking again about the show. And then, yes, you know, Celebrities, that was the longest running show in Nigeria at the time. 14 years, no sponsor. Like mm. just till the tail end of the show, we were done a Guinness or somebody come. They just sponsored one year. So you can imagine running that kind of a show For with 13 years. The, yeah, with, with uh, the cast and crew. Wow. Yeah. There were so many segments. It was yeah. like almost about 10 shows in one yeah. show, you know. But those were my, you know. So I was making money somewhere else and then investing it in the show. The show. You know? What was your relationship with Tunde and Wumiobi till date? Because till I know now you put them for TV. Not as it should be, you know. We're not as close as we you were. were one time. And for me, it's, it's so sad. Oh. You know, I wish it were different. But it is what it is. Do you try to reach out? I did. I never like to burn bridges. Mm. I'm not one for burning bridges. Yeah. I like friendship. Oh, There's yeah. nothing that sweets my soul as great friendship. I don't believe in burning bridges. Mm. But um, you never know what some people's own is. So I, just let them be. I agree. I agree with that you love friendship. The fact that, because I remember when we met, we met a long time ago, and then recently when I met again in Lekki, I collected your number, he gave me your number. I can't even forget because I had a lot of things to do that day. Daddy called me later that day. I think he sent me a message again. I'm like, ah, I mean, suppose they... So since that day, so I can agree. I can attest to that. Mm. So um, we are really very grateful that mm. you gave us this opportunity and that you um, expressed yourself. Some people know they like one share, but... I did very sure say many of the people who watch this episode today, especially about how you know you led your life, your relationship with your parents, how things changed over the years, and more importantly, that impact in Nigeria's entertainment space, where we say you challenge those when they bring the money that time, tell them, say, these people, I see the value that they that they deserve. You must give them all that they deserve. And today, our artists are perhaps. You know, we'll the, biggest, the, the, world. the biggest, the biggest in the world, we'll the best, it. the best, and the, the biggest in the world. world. The people are running after our people; they are the most sought after. Nah, shake be nah, shake. If for dressing style, nah, nah, shake nah, be daddy. Yes, now. <laughs> so thank you so much for the impact. We're really very grateful on the honest bunch or the honest bunch podcast. We like to give people their flowers, especially when they can That's still right. smell them. The truth we say, all the things where you don't live for this life, your experience, nothing supposed they knew or nothing supposed shock you, but. On behalf of my generation. So the one way you won't give me, go check me. No, 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 no. Now, what they try to talk now, say, on behalf of my generation, isn't it? We are of the same... Me and you, we are not of the same generation, no. Other matter, I was that. Millennial, Selenium, Jenzinium, Eldel, and the Lillenium. For the Lillenium. We are really very, very, very grateful. We appreciate you. Some of us, we don't want to talk, but some of the things when we see you do, you know, yeah. even reach the age where we say, the person go looks, ah, this man don't see everything. He don't get problem. Mm-hmm. He they fight for other people. He they fight for widows. He they fight for our military people. Even youth, he they fight for them. But he don't be saying... Even to the point of say, he don't fight for now. So the una mumu no No, do. So what does, does he really need it? But you keep doing this. We're really very grateful. We appreciate you. Thank you so much. Mm-hmm. Talking about it, there was even somebody that called me yesterday and said Nidu, an agency reached out to her that they're looking for a men's show that mm. they want to sponsor. Do you have a man show? I'm like, I don't have a man we show. We have a man show. Colette. Come on. Yeah. Ah, okay. We can have a man show. Talking about men. Anyway, if you're the one that reached Scoop out, please send me a message again. I'll look for your number, but if I can't get your number, please just call me back. Yeah, and, and then talking about... Has, daddy has has something uh, for men's men. Talk about it. Yeah, and talking about men. Um... Charlie Boy has done a lot when we talk about advocacy for different, uh, all, all walks of life, all sorts of people. But this time, special attention to men. Because if you check out Modi, truth be say, 
It'd be like, say, when you reach the order of attention and priority, <laughs> man, be like, say, true. Na, na the last. True. You know, but for men's wellness, he has this foundation and, you know, all the supports, all the supports that we can rally, please. That support, they're very, very important because for our society, whether we like them or not, we need the men, the presence mm-hmm. of men, the impact of men, mm-hmm. and the strength and wisdom of okay. men. Another thing I want to beg <laughs> to the young ladies, you know, there's one particular sickness that happens to men at a particular age. Post you know, trait. Daddy knows where Post I'm going. Trait. Please mm. help these men. If they ask you for mm. kuntus, Keith. Mm. Because what you're doing is you're helping the future of this man mm-hmm. so that they can be advising you, Father. Do you get me? So, I draw you for Kuntus. We, uh, we don't reach oh, where we pack our loan income. But remember, <laughs> that is when I share for the beginning. <laughs> That's something where you must hold tight this year. Workman HQ. Work without the O. Workman HQ. If you define artisans, when they're professional and when they behave themselves, not the one where you go begin the course, say, where are you? Go say, madam, maybe your gate is the black gate. I'm there now. <laughs> or the one where you go repair your fridge, your couch, you go begin shock it. inside house. So Workman HQ, get all that information. Yes. It's been an amazing Amani. experience. Thank you very much. A round of applause for Elia Father. His way up front